Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Welcome to another day of daily prayer. Hallelujah. Welcome to another day of daily prayer. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I'm so glad you could be with me today. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will, yes, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I want you to go ahead and turn your Bibles over to Psalms 27. We have a wonderful word today. We're going to get right on into it. And while you're turning over to Psalms 27, if you are joining us and you do not know Jesus, I thank God for you. I thank God for you. If you're just visiting us from time to time and you know, you're curious about Jesus, but you've not been formally introduced or you say, oh, I can hear you saying, oh, I know Jesus. Okay, I I'll accept that. Amen, I'll accept that. But have you been born again? Hallelujah. Have you made that public confession? Have you prayed and asked God to forgive you for all your sins? Hallelujah. Well, if you've not, then you probably know of Jesus, but now today we want you to, we want to introduce you to Jesus. Amen. So hang out with us today and we are going to formally introduce you to Jesus Christ, our Lord, God, and Savior. Now Psalms 27, my brothers and sisters, I want you to turn over. If you're already there, I'm going to start in verse number four. And before I read that, I just got a question for you. Are you facing challenges today? And we know that there are challenges to be faced. Are you facing situations that you have no answer for? Hallelujah. Then as a born again Christian, I want this verse to just encourage you today. Hallelujah, that you can face those challenges and overcome in the name of Jesus. That's right. Let's start in verse number 20, uh, number four. It says, one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now King David, this is who this psalm was written by. Here he says that I have desired, one thing have I desired of the Lord. That will I seek after, that I may dwell. In the house of the Lord. All the days of my life. Well David was here on the earth. Wasn't he when he wrote this psalm. He was alive. He said that I may dwell in the house. Of the Lord. Glory to God. Now David was here on the earth. But he was talking about. Accessing a place. In the realm of the spirit. And that is the kingdom of God. That is the house of the Lord. That is the presence of God. He says that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. This is where God lives. God lives in the house of the Lord. But David knew that he could access this place. And he said he desired. He said I de he desired to dwell in the house of the Lord. The children of Israel did it while they were in Egypt during the time of the plagues when they were being delivered. The word of God says that there was light in Goshen while there was darkness all around. Amen. Much like what we see today. Am I right? Darkness, thick darkness. Yeah. Amen. But. There was light in Goshen. 
David said that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, we can dwell in the house of the Lord. And I don't mean a physical brick and mortar building, but I mean the supernatural dwelling of God, that place with God that is accessed through prayer. David said, that will I seek. Jesus said, you can ask, seek and knock. Amen. And he said, God will open the door. That, what is that? That's prayer. That's prayer. That's prayer. Through prayer, you can access God. You can access Goshen. You can access where the light of God is. You can access the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he says, to behold the beauty of the Lord. Well, to behold is to look. Hallelujah. He can experience. He knew that he can experience and see God here on from here on the earth. You can see God. You can access the Lord. You have access to God as a born again, child of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can access the heavenlies that where God dwells and you can see Jesus. You can see the beauty of the Lord. Hallelujah. When he walks in the room, hallelujah. As you pray, make intercession, call upon his name. Jesus will walk in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So it doesn't matter what you're going through. Hallelujah. It, it, it matters to you, but let me tell you something. You have an answer and his name is Jesus. Glory to God. Woo! Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. And you can dwell in the house of the Lord. Psalms 91 says, he that dwelleth ah, in the secret place of the most high God. Where is that? Hallelujah. That is with God. You can dwell, my brothers and sisters. You can dwell. You are not just stuck here. Hallelujah. But you can, you can lead, you can through prayer access God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to move right on into prayer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Oh, Remetene beke he, remetene beke he, remoto na moko hoshete na maha. Come on, ayara boko ho. Come on, roboto na moko hoshete ya rabaha. Remote na moko ho, remoto na moko ho. Yeremeti ya na moko ho. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Remoto na moko hoshete ya maha. Remote na moko hoshete ma remoti ya moho. Remote na moko ho. Thank you, Father. Romoko hoshiti na maha. Romoto na moko ho. Remeti yera moto na moko ho. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Romoto na moko ho. Romoto na moko ho. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Romoto na moko ho. Yera mato na moko ho. Remeti yera mato na moko ho. Romoto na maha. Romoko ho shiete re mehe. Romoko ho shiete re moko ho. Romoko ho shiete re mehe. Romoto na moko ho, thank you Holy Spirit. Romoto na moko ho shete ne mehe. Romoto na moko ho shete ne maha. Remete ne moko ho shete ne maha. Romoto na moko ho, remete ne meke he. Come on, come on saints, come on and pray, come on and press in. Romoto na moko ho, remete ne meke he. Romoto na moko ho, cheese shete ne moho. Romoto na moko ho. Ramata na moko ho, ramata na moko ho, shete na moho, ramata na moko ho, ye na moto na makaha, ramata na moko ho, shete na moho, ramata na moko ho, ramate ye na moto, ramakaha, ramata na moho, remete ye na moto na moko ho. Father, I thank you today. Glory, he ya ramoto, ramata na moko ho shete ne mehe, remete ne meke he. Come on, saints, ramoto na moko ho shete na maha. Press in, press in, press in. Ramoko ho shete ne mehe, ramoko ho shete ne moko ramata na moko ho, ramata na makaha, remete ya ramoto na moko ho, remete ya ramoto na moko ho. 
Ramota ramakoho. Yedaboto, ramata na makoho, shetene mehe, remete na makoho, ramati ya ramata na moho, ramata na makoho, sheti ya ramata na makoho, ramata na makoho, sheti ya ramata na moho, ramakoho. Father God, I thank you so much. Ah, Holy Spirit, thank you. Woo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Savior. Jesus. Come on, saints. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for your presence that's here even now. Oh, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. Thank you for your presence that's there on the other end. Hallelujah. With my friends, with my brothers and sisters, hallelujah. Ora maka harabati eramaha. Robotona moko hoshiti eramaha. Spirit of the living God. Touch your people today, Holy Spirit. Touch each and every one under the sound of my voice, Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Ye raboko horamati aramaha. Romoko horamati aramaha. In the name of Jesus. I'm, in the name of Jesus, you spirit of infirmity, I command you to get off. Get out of the bodies of the people in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, Jesus, for those stripes. Because by your stripes, I decree over each and every person. They are healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to those bodies. I say, be whole in the name of Jesus. I speak to every organ. I say, be whole in the name of Jesus. Function normally in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I decree the fire of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, let there be an outpouring of your spirit today. Hallelujah. Father, Lord Jesus, pour out your spirit today upon each and every person today. Hallelujah. And Father, we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. And now, if you are with us and you don't know Jesus, I want to lead you in prayer today. In Jesus' name, and I want you to repeat after me. Say, Dear God, I come to you as a sinner. And I ask you to forgive me. For all my sins. I confess right now. Jesus Christ. As my Lord and Savior. Dear Jesus. I ask you. To come into my heart today. I confess with my mouth. And I believe in my heart. That Jesus Christ is Lord glory to God glory to God hallelujah now let me pray for you father I ask that you would fill Lord Jesus each and every person Holy Spirit that's just received you I ask that you would fill them with the Holy Spirit today fill them today Lord with the evidence of speaking in tongues I ask that you would baptize them today in the name of Jesus, in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Amen, amen, amen. And I want to tell you, thank you, congratulate you for receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And now the next step for you is to find a church and walk in and let that pastor know you just received Jesus and that you want to be baptized. Amen. And I just ask you to just make a notation in the chat or send a prayer to house prayer for all. That's house prayer, the number for all in letter at gmail.com. And let us know that you have 
receive Jesus. And I want to thank you all for joining us on another day of daily prayer. And we look forward to being with you again. All right. Have a wonderful day in Jesus name. Bye-bye.